Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 69. Nice. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Car LMP1 Tour, uh, which is an event that doesn't exist in the new Forza Motorsport. I'm so annoyed by that. Anyway, starting off with Harkenheim Ring, Nürburgring, Infinium Raceway, Bernie's Alps, Road America, Indianapolis, and Le Mans. Let's get going. All right, well, Rack won the Battle Royale. Rack gets the Supra, but which one? This guy's weird. 420i M Sport 2023. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool, actually. This car doesn't sound like it's got an engine. I know it's a diesel, but like, fucking hell. Uh, next time I'm free. Free Monday. Monday and Wednesday. I'm busy tomorrow, working all day and then streaming. Sunday, I'm doing the same. Yeah, I'm off. I'm off all day Monday though. So, how is work going for you, by the way? Genuinely cannot tell when I'm revving the arse off of this car. Yeah, at the moment I don't have much free time. But uh, I think it's because of the fact that I'm just so... I'm trying to do YouTube and work at the same time. But work doesn't have many hours. And yet, they're scattered all over the place. So it's really difficult to do both. Um... I am thinking of looking around, seeing if there's any other places. Like any other roles that are 40 hours, like 9 to 5. Because I'd love to just be able to wake up at 8, get in the shower, leave here by 8.30, walk to work, start work at 9, work till 5. Leave, go home, start a stream at 6. Stream till 9. Edit till 11, go to bed. And then it leaves me with two full days on the weekend. I could literally have to myself. Yo, VT, what up? Welcome. How are you today? Is that the LaFerrari? VT showing off the Ferrari. But yeah. Hey, sick man.
bum 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 Hey, no worries, man. Appreciate, appreciate you uh, stopping by. Thanks so much. I'll uh, I'll let you know once the uh, WRC stuff is all planned, cause uh, that's gonna be sick. Do 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 This car is just strange. This thing's got off-road capabilities.
This is a race car with a five-speed gearbox. I'm so confused. This car is so confusing. It's just like, what? It makes no sense. None at all. Not bad. Good first race. I shall take that. Basically, life is there to confuse the absolute ever-living fuck out of you. <laughs> oh no. It's pretty cool that this uh, track is in this game. It's just a shame that it's not the full 24 hour circuit. I'm not even sure if Forza actually had the full 24 hour circuit. I think it was only m maybe Motorsport 7 has it. Spot 8 does have 24 hour Le Mans. Fair enough, fair enough. Welcome back, Heinz. Welcome back to the chat. <laughs> Honestly, though, I don't think. I think Motorsport 8 was quite frankly one of the worst launches I have ever seen from a racing game and there have been some bad launches yeah that's great I'm actually really excited to play Forza 6, uh, only because of the fact there is a huge glitch that I want to show off on stream. That was so cool. Yeah, Horizon 5 had a pretty bad launch because of the fact that the game servers... At least Horizon 5 had a variety of content to do. So for the first, like, 12 hours, it was alright. Even when the servers were bugging out. But the issue is after those 12 hours and you want to start, like, varying what stuff you do. So you don't get bored doing the same thing over and over again. You can't. So you then get bored doing the same thing over and over again because you didn't play the servers. 
shit. As for example, you got drift tires but not suspension. Yeah, exactly. The content that's lacking out of the new motorsport is just... It's just disappointing. I'm just so confused what content they were actually making after they had that first gameplay reveal about a year and a half ago. Like, they had a working game. Why didn't they add actual content? Don't get me wrong. I think the car leveling idea, I think it's a bit too grindy. But to level up your car to get upgrades as opposed to just getting them, I think that's all right. I'm not complaining that much about that. I think there should still be the option to buy the parts, but like it be like a ridiculous rate. So like to max upgrade your car, it costs you like half a million. Or you could get it for free by leveling your car. Stuff like that. So confusing. Confuzzled. More than likely. And a lot of developers are doing this. Where they're not releasing their game with all the content. Like, again, don't get me wrong. I don't think that's a bad idea. But you need to make sure the game has a minimum level of content that is usable and enjoyable before you can then go and remove stuff. Otherwise, you've just got to keep it and add stuff later on. You can't remove content from the game and then go and say, oh yeah, it's for future development and stuff like that. There's no, there's no other way of putting it. It's just, it's just a fucking shame. A game that had the potential that Motorsport 8 had down the drain. Yeah. In theory, yes. They can share assets between games.
All right, not bad. Honestly, it's, it's so confusing. I don't think anyone understands why they've done it. All right, here we go. Let's actually uh, do this race properly. <laughs> oh, not great. Holy shit. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice. Liquor and cigarettes got me in a mess. So yeah, on the, um, what's it called, the 31st, I want to say it's the 31st, it's going to be happening, but uh, the 31st is going to have, um, it's going to be the WRC event. The only issue is, I am not guaranteeing that it will go ahead, only because of the fact Based off of how the last two launch streams have gone, you know, Starfield, game didn't run smoothly, had to cancel that stream. Forza Motorsport, game didn't even launch, had to cancel that one. So I'm going to be on, literally at release, I'm going to run the game, I'm going to do like a rally. Like a stage or something. And then... If it runs, and it runs well, result. If it doesn't, I won't be able to do the stream. And I'll be doing it, like, as I'm like live streaming as well. So I'll do a little test live stream that's private that no one can actually see. Or make it as a members only live stream, I could do that as well.
Holy shit, this was quick. I hate the fact that this car has like five gears because you're always between gears at the moment. Oh no! Completely ruined that corner. Right, we've got two more laps. Well, one and a bit more laps. I'm going to see if I can catch up with the back markers. See what I can do. Might be able to catch up, might not. Who knows? Hopefully we can, though. Ah, hopes. Ah! My gosh, they're going so slow. It's unreal. Oh, this is a tune. I'm going to have to save this. Bonk. I've completely pushed him off there. Move! So this is the one thing that irritates me with Forza and a lot of racing games in general is AI don't move out of the way of the racing line if they're being lapped. Okay, I completely... Fuck that one up. Oi. All right. Not bad. I will take that result. Let's move on to the next one. Ah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, so I got to uh, try that candy apple sneak. I've also got another um, sneak flavor review going up uh, tomorrow morning. I still got to edit it. But, uh, 
Man is thinking about getting a new tattoo soon. You've been saying that for like fucking months. To be fair, um, I actually really want to get the uh, Valhalla logo tattooed onto my arm. Holy fuck! The amount of downfalls around the outside there. No, there was there was no way that was happening. I'm surprised none of the AI cards I've seen crash out there. Yeah, I want to get the Valhalla Assassin's Creed logo. Because I fucking love that game. It's so cool. It is still my most played game on Steam. So... And all I need to do is to just get, like, that oomph to get back into playing it. Because the issue is, combined with Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, I spent 250 hours in a row playing Assassin's Creed games. And obviously those three games are very similar in playstyle. So it was pretty much the same game that I played for 250 hours. It's just a slightly different storyline. But oh my god, did I enjoy them. Odyssey was sick, though. And I mean, I was like hopping between playing it on PC and playing it on the Steam Deck. I've had my Steam Deck for over a year now. Holy shit. Honestly, that Steam Deck has changed how I play video games. Like, when games work on that Steam Deck, I'm spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. little bit of a slide there. I really like this one. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, Alex, but uh, we've got new cars on the stream avatars. Mate, you are a car. You get driven by women to crash and burn. Wow. Wow. To be fair, you're not wrong. I <laughs> crash and burn. Way.
I want to listen to Badadam again. Oh, this is Vino Bandit, I think. Bow, bow. Yeah, Vino Bandit. What a tune. It's, um, I'm trying to think what this song is. I want to say it's Message in a Bottle. Is it? It sounds like Message in a Bottle. Message in a Bottle. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm really... I don't know. I think it is. I genuinely think it might be. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Fuck. Bow, bow. Me and K motion's working. Way, way. Be no bandit. Hey. Oh my days. Not bad. Ooh. The fact that you can go 180 miles an hour through that section is just mind blowing. That should not be possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.